Welcome to Disney A, the Canadian themed Disney travel podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Krista. And I'm Brandon. So, happy Thanksgiving, fellow Canadians. And that's our topic for today's show Thanksgiving. Isn't that a bit early? Well, not if you're in Canada. Oh. It's only early if you're in the States, turns out. Um, so, then that's going to be part of it. We're going to chat about the difference between Canadian Thanksgiving and American Thanksgiving and throw in a little bit of Disney Thanksgiving fun tidbits, too. Uh, before we get started, though, top of every show, I want to know what you're drinking, Brandon. Well, um, I'm enjoying another local brewery, yep. the Fernie Brewing Company's mm-hmm. Off Axis Double IPA. And this is a new one you haven't tried before. No, I have not. And uh, you know what? I never used to like IPAs, but you say I'm turning into a little bit of a hipster. It's a double IPA, and you're like, oh, it's so good. It's so. very smooth. Though. Yeah, so, hipster. Very nice. Hipster. And you? Uh, oh, no, see, I embrace my hipster status mm-hmm. um, because I'm drinking a pumpkin beer. <laughs> also from... It is pumpkin season. It is. It's October. And uh, that means full on pumpkin. I feel like I need to be wearing Ugg boots and a, a big scarf, actually. Mm, some plaid, maybe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this one is called Ghost Rider. It is also from the Fernie Brewing Company. And it has this great um, legend that has to do with the Ghost Rider in Fernie. And I guess they named a beer after it. So it's a delicious pumpkin brown ale. Cool. And it's making my hipster heart happy. Excellent. Very basic. Um, my other question is what nerd thing, nerdy kind of thing, are you kind of digging right now? Well, um, it being October mm-hmm. and Canadian Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. um, we are currently watching a whole bunch of Halloween-themed things, mostly on Disney+, Plus. <coughs> yes. for a future episode. Yes. So I'm right into that. Yeah, it's been fun because like I've gotten to watch things I haven't watched in a long time. It's a couple new things, so that's fun. You should probably stay tuned and, and figure out what that's all about. Um, my nerd thing is also Halloween Tide. I have recently um, become obsessed with Loungefly eggs. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes, I know. We're very, I'm sure you're pleased about that. But I have my first Loungefly backpack, which is Nightmare Before Christmas themed. Hooray, capitalism. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I love it a lot. <laughs> and so it's making my Halloween basic heart very happy. Excellent. So, yes. Um, and one more top of show question. Something else is happening. Not just Halloween, not just Canadian Thanksgiving. What else is happening this month? October? It's going to be Mandalorian. Mandalorian season two. We have a countdown going on. Um, And when we hit publish on this episode, it will be 18 days. 18 days. 18 days. I can almost wait that long. I guess. If we have to. Mm. I don't think we have much choice in it. And uh, so that's uh, standing things. Now that brings us to our current news. Disney A News Update. So, it's uh, I have a couple news items. Okay. I have a couple news items. Um, the big news item um, is not very happy, though. So, let's start with that one. Okay. Okay. A lot of not happy stuff. Yeah, there's these not days, tons really, yes. of good news. I kind of had to dig more for not not happy so stuff. So, what's, what's going on? So, um, as we've all heard, there um, it's uh, the list of 28,000 cast members that have been laid off. Um, those numbers keep coming at out at Disney. Um, well, at Disneyland and Disney World. Yes, through yeah. the Disney, um, through the Disney family. Mm-hmm. And um, the the recent news is that among those cast members are are the cast members that involved with two shows at Disneyland, one which is Mickey and the Magical Map, and one that is Frozen Live at the Hyperion. Um, neither of those shows will return when Disneyland does open. Of course, we have <laughs> no idea when that might be. No clue. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's sad to me, but it also makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, they're not going to be able to do these indoor shows when right. they first open, whenever that is. There's going to be distancing and yeah. outdoor as much as possible. So you can't really have these actors stay on and practicing exactly. for these shows when you don't know when they can be back. Well, that That's one problem with having these these. these high level shows is they have such high production costs and just having them kind of sitting around waiting for this big question mark even if they didn't know when the parks would open they don't know when these shows will be able to be back on again when anyway. it's safe to have these shows exactly, back on exactly exactly i i think there'll be shows back eventually yeah. but maybe they'll be a little bit different maybe yeah. we'll get something new and fun Who i knows? guess that's yeah. kind of like the hope 
Yeah. Is that there'll be something different? I mean, I remember seeing Aladdin at the Hyperion, and that was awesome. And yeah, Frozen Aladdin, is something new. And Aladdin stuff, was so. Aladdin was great. Never did see Frozen. No. Nope. Um, but I guess we'll just have to let it yeah. go. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. Mm mm. Um, and I, I just, just hope that that means that other shows that maybe are more outdoors or more, um, uh, that they can have the chance to stay on because of that. So, um, that's one news item. The other one is more interesting, not quite so sad. Um, there, uh, has been some talk that there is a new movie that is being slated. The, uh, Space Mountain movie. Space Mountain. A movie. Space, so Space Mountain is the latest Disney attraction to have a live action movie. Um, there's not a whole lot of details about it yet because you know there's not a whole lot of details about anything <laughs> movie wise right now because you know. Well, you can't see my face right now. Uh huh. Um, but I'm making a slight grimace. Yes. Um, there's that's fair. there's not a lot of good history when it comes to. <laughs> Making right. random live action movies out of Disney properties. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates. Has, which is was the thing. a surprise at the time. And then the the franchises that went along kind of went downhill. And still made lots of money, though, which is the. They do have the Jungle Cruise movie yes. that was supposed to be out by now, it's... which may be good. I, I don't. I don't know. I love Dwayne the, Johnson. The, the Rock is good at being bad. But yeah, good, yeah, he, bad, he like but good. leans into the cheese. Yeah, so right. who, who knows? We'll see. I will reserve judgment. So Jungle Cruise is currently slated for next July. There's no word on this when the Space Mountain is, but there, this is what I have heard. Um, I've heard who's um, signed on to write and produce, and that is Joby Harold, who is also one of the writers and the executive producer of the upcoming Obi Wan series on oh, Disney now, Plus. Oh, now see that I'm excited. Right, for. and then the other one is um, Dan Lin and Jonathan Enrich are also lined up to produce, who did live action Aladdin, but also are producing the new Haunted Mansion movie, um, which is a huge giant question mark as well. It, well. All we know is it can't be worse than the first Haunted Mansion movie. <laughs> well, uh, see, why would you say that? <laughs> why would you go ahead and I, I will go on record right now <laughs> and say it will not be worse than the original Haunted Mansion movie. So they're not saying too much. Except they are saying it's it's going to be adventure-focused because, I guess, Space Mountain. It is going to be family adventure-focused. So right away, I'm like, oh, God, Haunted Mansion 2003 vibes. Um, and it's slated for theatrical release. They're not just intending to make it for Disney Plus or anything Which like that. Which is an important concern consideration it now. Is. They have that kind of not direct to video level right. but something slightly above that for Disney Plus is, is a yeah. production value that they can aim for now. Right. So, so since so they're saying theatrical, I mean that's slightly hopeful of course. Who who knows? Who knows anything? So, but anyway, that is that is the news. The news. That's the news that struck me today. And that brings us to our main segment. The Canadian Corner. Our main segment today is all about Canadian Thanksgiving. Which is why my stomach kind of still hurts from eating right. turkey. <laughs> right, actually, yeah. Um, so our Thanksgiving in Canada, as you can tell, you like Thanksgiving. It's middle of October, but that's, of course, when we have it. And not a lot of people really know anything about it, other than it's just not at the same time as American Thanksgiving. So I'm going to try not to go super teachery. Yeah. Right I'll now. I'll try and keep her <laughs> yeah, keep me a little bit. Um, remember, history was my minor <laughs> in university. Yeah. But I'm going to try. Um, but basically, I just wanted to explain, because everyone seems to know about what American Thanksgiving is, and very few people know about Canadian Thanksgiving. So I just want to kind of talk about the difference a little bit. Um, we like The biggest thing is ours is, the end, is in the middle of October instead of the end of November. Um, and actually... Most people don't know this. Ours was first. Oh, yeah. It's the original. It is the original. The first Thanksgiving that was celebrated um, by settlers in North America was actually in Canada. And um, it lined up like First Nations people always had all these big feasts and everything like that. And it just kind of segued into that. Yeah, um, it's a harvest. It's a it harvest is. It's a harvest festival. And, and that's basically Harvest is too. earlier in Canada. <laughs> it's true. Um, it snowed today. It, a little. Just a tiny little bit. Flakes, this but, was the second yeah. time we've seen snow. And actually, this is the least amount that we've seen th in years for this time of year. It's true. <laughs> Usually, we have about a foot of snow on yeah, the ground by now. And it melts mm -hmm. and comes and goes. So, so yeah, harvest is a lot earlier. So it makes sense a harvest festival being in October. Um, so there's some debate over when the first Thanksgiving was in North America. Both were in what is now Canada. One possibility was 1578, but since they just basically ate salted beef 
fish and mushy peas. Some people are like, you're stretching to call this Thanksgiving. Uh, but that's kind of what they ate back then, no? I know, but they were also just like, yay, we didn't die. And so they were giving thanks. And people were like, well, can you call every meal where the yay, they didn't die, thankful? <laughs> that was just called Tuesday. Yeah, back right. Then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that, so that was uh, back in 1578. And then the other debate is, for, is in 1606. And that was um, a series of rotating feasts that uh, Champlain had that was called the Order of Good Cheer. And that one is um, a little bit more traditionally Thanksgiving because it was Europeans and the First Nations people, they were the Micmac, coming together to be like, yay, we haven't died and we don't want to die over the winter. And so because it was those people coming together, they're like, maybe that was a little bit more Thanksgiving, whereas the first American Thanksgiving was a few years later in 1621 so you know we, we get we get that well i like to bug my american friends that they celebrate remedial thanksgiving <laughs> they get leftovers <laughs> uh, like just, you're just a little slower is, that's, that's all true. that's well, all you know what i just means our holiday season is longer mm, mm-hmm. right which is not a bad thing we get to prep we get to prep with some turkey for right? for halloween time and yeah. candy yeah and then we move right in and we we prepare for christmas all november long yeah pretty much yeah and then our dates um change a lot they didn't decide middle of october until years later sometimes it lined up with american thanksgiving sometimes it lined up with like whatever british celebration was going on at the time we, we do get a lot from the british it's true yeah and thanksgiving was kind of was one of those things that lined up with with both of our major influences British and American. Um, sometimes it was early, like as early as September. Sometimes it was as late as December. A lot of times it was held on what was what now became Remembrance Day, which is in November. And then finally they're like, you know what? If we're celebrating the harvest, maybe, maybe we should do it kind of close to harvest, which was October. Oh, yeah. makes sense. Makes sense. And then the other big thing is we can hang out outside usually. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're pretty still... we're pretty hardy. We so are. Yeah. It's, it's fine. But November is full on winter here. We can go play in a pumpkin patch and. Yeah. Yeah. We should do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Food. What are what are <laughs> obviously what specific Ooh, thing okay. are you thankful for? Food wise. Food wise. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. My favorite food items I get to enjoy all fall long, and actually you don't like them, and I like all the pumpkin things. Mm. Right. I like the pumpkin pie. Yeah. I I. Do not care like for pumpkin, pumpkin beer that I'm having right now. Do not care for pumpkin. But I'm also whatsoever. a side dish fan. I like the side dishes. I love the turkey, but I like the side dishes. You know, potatoes and stuffing, stuff like that. What about you? Uh, I gotta go for the turkey. I, when I was growing up, I thought turkey was kind of boring. You're wrong. <laughs> but uh, I'm a bit of a turkey hound now, so. Yeah. Give me the neck. Give me the drumstick. You give could... me some turkey breast. It don't matter. So, so here's the question: You know, the walking up. around with the turkey leg thing that happens at Disney. Mm. You can like totally get on board with that, right? Oh uh, well, I do that at Thanksgiving. That's true. You do. You mm. literally. That is that is his um his appetizer mm. is the turkey. Like he'll go and steal a turkey leg and yeah. that's his appetizer. Um. So the other thing about Canadian Thanksgiving is it's celebrated nationally. Um. There's a couple provinces that don't do it as a statutory holiday and. It's Sometimes it's a bigger deal in some provinces than others, but pretty standard. You have your turkey and your potatoes and your stuff like that, but sometimes the food changes. For example, do you know that some places it's not Thanksgiving if you don't have Nanaimo bars? Ooh, Nanaimo bars. Now right? you're going to probably have to explain what a Nanaimo <laughs> bar is to some of our listeners. Right. So Nanaimo, I guess it's named after Nanaimo, BC. <laughs> absolutely is, yes. Um, and you're a fan of Nanaimo bars. I am. I actually find them a little too sweet. They are very, very sweet. <laughs> Basically, there's... Okay, help me help me out. So the, the bottom layer... Uh, that's like a cookie wafer. Yeah, but it's like a chocolatey cookie wafer. Chocolatey cookie wafer. Yeah. And then there's some buttercream type yellow yeah. stuff on top of that. It's super rich. Yeah, it's just basically sugar frosting Cream sugar. stuff <laughs> and then you put a slab of chocolate on top of that and, and not a thin slab of chocolate it's, it, yeah it's tasty so those are nanaimo bars and then some places butter tarts are like oh. standard and i know you like that because your grandma makes great butter tarts. my grandma makes the best butter tarts in the world mm-hmm. so, so sometimes so that's just one thing is just like what is the food item that is most important to thanksgiving but th- through it all like basically well, we have this big farming identity in, in Canada, specifically in Western Canada, kind of like we're at. I'm a was a farm girl growing up and stuff like that. It just is all about the food and the family and fun times. Mm-hmm. And so in Canada, it's not as much of a big travel holiday, right? Um, 
from what I understand in the States, people will travel from all over to get together for the Thanksgiving right. meal. And it, American Thanksgiving is the Thursday, so they have a four-day-long weekend. Yes. Whereas we shift that kind of tradition more to Christmas time. Christmas is our big one. Yeah. So when your family's farther apart, you may not get a Thanksgiving dinner no. with them. Um, but it's more of a quiet, just yeah. enjoyment season. Yeah. And especially, you know, it's kind of our last nice weather hurrah before we all have to hunker down for the winter or strap on the hockey skates and everything else. So you got to enjoy that a little bit more, too. So... This is a Disney podcast. Yes. Um, how does Disney like to celebrate Thanksgiving, <laughs> whether that be the American that they would probably focus on or, yes. or even in October? So Disney, um, like the Disney parks basically have their fall, which is mainly focused on Halloween. Mm -hmm. And then they morph right into Christmas. And in the parks, basically Thanksgiving is when they say the holiday, it starts the holiday season, which is like the Christmas season. Whereas our holiday season stretches for like three months. <laughs> yes, you'll see the ads coming on TV shortly. I have started Christmas shopping. Well, you start Christmas shopping on Boxing Day. Okay, well that's fair. Which is another Canadian holiday. <laughs> that's another Canadian. As an aside. Um, so uh, I wanted to, like, there's a couple different ways. Um, I found a list of movies that are very, like, Thanksgiving friendly. And also a couple cartoons. Um, kind of love the Donald Duck, Duck cartoons. And there's two... That's the classic out. Donald Duck. Classic is Donald is fun. Yeah, a bit like gotta love poor guy. He just tries so hard, and I kind of commiserate with him. Um, Chef Donald is actually on Disney Plus, and we w just watched it. <laughs> and he wants to cook waffles, and basically everything goes wrong as it does because it's a Donald Duck cartoon. Poor guy just keeps trying though, and I can commiserate because the first time I tried to cook a turkey, the oven broke in the middle of it, and no matter what I tried. This poor, it just didn't work out. And I was like, I didn't, you know, throw it out like, I didn't have a fit like Donald did, but nothing went right. Well, yes, Donald does have a bit of a temper, and yes. and I can commiserate with that. Yes, as far as I do not, I have a throw up my hands and get sad <laughs> at it. Um, so I, I think anyone who's, like, tried to make a meal for, a bunch, like, a family or a big important meal ha realizes things do go wrong and hopefully, you know, react, have to react like Donald. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's on Disney+. Plus. And then the other one that we watch is on YouTube. It's not on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, so some of the older Disney cartoons yes. have a bit of a problematic premise. Mm -hmm. um, they've put some of them on Disney+, Plus yes. with a warning. And I personally think that they should be there. Totally agree. With the warning. Yep historical purposes context mm -hmm. all that is very important but this one was only we could only find it on youtube mm -hmm. and so. it's called soups on and now maybe it will end up on disney plus maybe. they have put other things they, they like kind of trickle on there a little bit yeah. yeah and essentially it starts donald wants his nephews to wash for the turkey dinner he's made um this was when this this one is, is an old one and so we get to For, see 48 I 48 believe. Yeah. yeah and so first of all like context of 48 here um, we get to see the nephew's personalities more later, but in those early ones, they're just, they're kind of there and there's, they antagonize each other. There's three little ducks and they antagonize each other and especially their uncle. Exactly. Yeah. They're not any better or worse than Donald and his <laughs> antics, right? Um, he's made a big turkey dinner and so we're to believe it's Thanksgiving, especially because when it shows the boys and he calls them to dinner, they are, um, dressed in feathers, chasing each other around and yeah. So they're, they're they're pretending they're Native Americans, and, yeah, and they're covered in mud. Yes, and it's that's it's not really great. It, it, I, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not great. Yeah. So um, contextually at the time, you know, it makes sense here. So he calls them in, and they are covered in mud, including their faces. And he says, "Well, they're gonna have to wash for wash for dinner." And of course, instead of doing that, they go to great lengths to avoid it, which it would have been so much easier just to. Well, they wash for dinner. They wash, but they don't do a very good job, right? And because so when, they're little ducks, they're little yeah. ducks, and they don't want to. Um, so, long story short, things escalate. Of course, one uh, Donald tries to one up the nephews, the nephews try to up one up him, and uh, it ends up escalating to the point where he gets knocked unconscious, and they make him think he has died. Not that that would give anyone a complex whatsoever, <laughs> and that he's become an angel. He, they do give him a harp, though. They do give... That's so nice of them. Yeah. They don't, but, yeah. And uh, uh, so I noticed a couple things mm. watching this. Um, I think I'm getting old. 
Yeah. Because the whole time I was watching, I was like totally sympathizing with poor Donald. <laughs> Well, yeah, those nephews were not being very nice. Do, do you know how long it takes to, like, cook a big dinner like that? Just, dude just wanted him to wash his hands, their hands. And, uh, yeah, he just wants everyone to enjoy this dinner he makes, and he feels really badly about getting mad at them. <laughs> that, is, that is the difference watching Disney movies <laughs> as a grown-up. You tend to sympathize not with the whiny children <laughs> that you used to. Yeah. It's more the adults trying to make things. Like like Little Mermaid when you're, uh-huh. like, watching Little Mermaid again. <laughs> When you're a teenager, you're like, yeah, headstrong, passionate. And I'm like, ah, oh, you're 16. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, right? I think we're getting older. We're sympathizing with the adults. Um, so other, there's a lot of other shows and movies that have a distinctive Thanksgiving feel. Um, a lot of them are tied to American Thanksgiving timeline, though. Um, like on Disney+, Plus, there's Miracle on 34th Street, which opens with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. But it's definitely a Christmas Santa Claus movie right oh yeah big and time. yeah and then the other one is winnie the pooh scenes of giving it definitely has thanksgiving but of course it goes right into christmas right after that so while those ones are american thanksgiving appropriate and mm. you know yay turkey dinners and everything yeah okay so the one i don't see on this list i believe it's a silly symphony with, yep. with the grasshopper oh yeah that's a great one um I, that it's not specifically thanksgiving but it's harvest time yep. and uh the grasshopper and the ants that's definitely a silly it's, symphony it's a one. great great fable yeah and good find it's uh that that's a good one for thanksgiving yeah and uh that one is on disney plus yes yeah um, so then I figured out a couple, um, some other movies that were on Disney Plus that were maybe not necessarily exactly tied to Thanksgiving, but were Thanksgiving appropriate. So one I thought you would appreciate as well would be Ice Princess. I love that one because I love figure skating growing up and also <laughs> um, kind of like Michelle Trachtenberg. <laughs> And uh, I, I know you're just like, yay, figure skating. You love nothing more than to sit around and watch me watch figure skating. Yeah. <laughs> no. No? No, you don't appreciate that? Um, but anyway, it happens to take place around Thanksgiving. It is, of course, American Thanksgiving, but there is this focus on family. Um, the remake of Annie is another good one that's on Disney+, Plus. although the original is better. Basically, it's like all the warm fuzzies, all the family and everything. The sun will come out tomorrow. The sun will come out. And yeah. there's, there's nothing... To, it's not as that, good as the first that, one. But. That needs to be the theme song of this year, I, I feel. Yeah, that's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a few other ones. Uh, Swiss Family Robinson um, has family themes. Princess Diary has family themes. Also, anything with Dame Julie Andrews is mm. basically a win. How can you not just smile watching that? Um, Ratatouille is because basically Thanksgiving's all about the food. Oh, yeah. And Ratatouille's about making good food. Good food, good food. <laughs> And um, the other one is, on every list I found, it was Mary Poppins and Mary Poppins Returns. You know, I guess that's Family Connection. Um, and Mary Poppins Returns specifically takes place through some fall themes. And then Frozen 2 is definite fall vibes. The other thing I liked about that one is this idea of doing the right thing, respecting cultures, and making amends, which, as we know with Thanksgiving history and all throughout North America, could maybe... Maybe, maybe a good lesson maybe that we could learn. Maybe a good lesson that yeah. we could at least be mm-hmm. a little bit aware of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what about some other Disney ideas? You, uh, what, what, what do you think would be the, the number one thing if you were thinking Disney or maybe just Thanksgiving in general, what's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Is it the food? It's got to be the food. It's got to be the food. And not, not all this pumpkin stuff you have on this list. (laughs) He's scrolling through my list right now and it's like pumpkin this and pumpkin that. All right. Too many pumpkins. (laughs) I went and found, um, you can find a bunch of recipes on Pinterest, of course, but I was more interested in Disney-specific ones, so I looked at the Disney Parks blog. Um, Whether you're into traditional pumpkin or other things, I found some options for you. So, I thought you'd like apple pie recipe. Ooh, apple pie. Yeah, I mean, I make a pretty good apple pie. You do, you do. But I might be willing to try the one from Disney's Wilderness Lodge that's up there. There's also the Canadian cheddar cheese soup from Epcot. Oh, now that is that is screaming fall to me. Right? And, I mean, yay Canadian. Mm. Uh, cheddar cheese soup with a nice little ale in there. A little bit of ale. Yeah. Also, um, I think you should try the gray stuff. I keep hearing about this gray stuff. Yep. Yeah. I got to try it. Well, is it because it's delicious? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Um, I also, there's also a couple recipes for pumpkin cranberry scones from the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, pumpkin pancakes from the Polynesian Village Resort, pumpkins, okay, I see what you're saying here about the pumpkin. Yeah, too many pumpkins. Pumpkin soup from Sunshine Seasons at Epscot, which sounds delicious, pumpkin cupcakes from the Contemporary Resort, and pumpkin bars from Disney's Beach Club Resort. They had a whole series a couple years ago that was all the pumpkin. All the pumpkin. All the pumpkin. Yeah. Too much pumpkin. You should just like pumpkin. I, you should just like onions. No, onions are gross. Okay. Well. <laughs> um, so Thanksgiving probably looks a little bit different for a lot of people right now. Absolutely. It was different for us this year. It was. We didn't uh, really get to see family or anything like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. But uh, we still got to do sit at home with turkey and uh, have some food and hang out. And yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's basically our quick little rundown of Canadian Thanksgiving. And so, uh, we wanted to wish a happy Thanksgiving to all the fellow Canadians out there. And, um, that's, uh, now going to bring us to trivia time. So last episode, Brandon, you asked me a couple questions. I did. Yes. Do you remember what those questions are? I sure do. Okay. (laughs) Do you remember what you said? I remember. Maybe we should play the clip. (laughs) Okay, let's do that. (laughs) What shape does the Haunted Mansion track make? It's a character. You're Donald. Goofy, you're Donald. I think it's Goofy. I think it's Goofy's head. Yeah, I'm going with Goofy's head. Okay. Second question. Oh, no. (laughs) What is the smallest (laughs) hidden Mickey? In Disneyland. You have been teasing and me knowing this for months. Where is it? I don't know. Okay, okay. Smallest hidden Mickey in Disneyland Park. I know there are some hidden Mickeys that are in, like, lighting fixtures. I really don't know. What if it was, in, like, in a lighting fixture in, like, Main Street, USA? So. Okay. Your first answer. Yes. Was absolutely correct. <gasps> I got one right! The Haunted Mansion track... And you can look up the br- blueprints online. I'm going to do that. Not, not right it now. is shaped exactly like Goofy's head in profile. That's, it's, it's pretty cool. That's pretty crazy, actually. And I'm not going to be specific about the second one. Okay. You are wrong. Oh, okay. But the smallest hidden Mickey in Disneyland mm-hmm. is in Critter Country. Really? Yes, it is. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I still have... Okay, so I actually have less of an idea now, because I was like, it's got to be somewhere. One of those little details. Okay, I'm wrong. I know, you're just going to... He wants to just take me and show me. I'm going to show you when we get there. But we know I'm wrong. Okay. Well, I guess that means it's my turn. Since it's October, I'm feeling very villainy, very Halloween-ish. I was going to be, like, thoughtful and thankful and everything like that, but no. Yeah, we'll we'll just move right on. Yeah, we're moving right on. Now it's full on Halloween. Yeah, we've had our turkey. Now it's Halloween time. (laughs) We're eating leftovers for days. Now it's time to move on to Halloween. So I actually have three questions for you. Oh, boy. But they're all villain-related, and I think they're fairly uh, straightforward villain-related, but then again, because we're going classic animated here. Okay. Okay. So we've got details about villains. Number one. It's a number. How many dozen eggs does Gaston eat every day in Beauty and the Beast? Um, when he's a lad or when he's grown? <laughs> when he's grown. <laughs> um, four, four dozen eggs. Okay. Because he's roughly the size of a barge. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, uh, five, no, five dozen. Uh, anyway. uh, we'll, 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 go, we'll go with five, four. I, it's a lot of dozen eggs. It's a lot of dozen eggs. He, Too many dozen eggs. Yeah, it, it, that would give you a stomachache, really. It really, really would, yeah. yeah it was, uh, um, also, I don't think you'd want to be the size of a barge. No, that is too large. That is too large to be a barge. Okay, okay moving uh, on. All right, question number two. Hades. Oh, see, I've never actually seen her I know we all have, the way through. I know, that's why. Oh, boy. <laughs> you got to stop talking over me. Okay, we've started, <laughs> um, we watch Beauty and the Beast a lot. That's why I wanted to start with Beauty and the Beast. And I know you haven't seen Hercules very much. I, I've seen clips. I have not seen it all the I way through. I did not through. know you haven't seen it all the no, way through. No, not all the way through, no. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is going to be painful for you. Yes, probably. Hades has two sidekicks. Mm-hmm. What are their names? I haven't a clue. 
And they're demons, if that helps. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you want to guess or just big question mark? Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. All right. So we'll just leave it as a, you're going to have that one wrong. <laughs> um, and then our last question, let's go even more classic. Cinderella. Mm. See, I have seen Cinderella. Yes. Yeah. So the evil stepmother from Cinderella. Do you know her name? The evil stepmother? Yes. Um, Ms. Evil Stepmother. That is impressive. Yeah. <laughs> she has a name? She has a name. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Do you know in the Animation Academy, you know, in um, California Adventure, uh, you could go in and you do different quizzes. And if you were a villain, it was like, if you are a villain, you're actually, this is your personality type most. Mine was the evil stepmother from Cinderella. See, I can see that. That's... Especially from these questions that you've asked me. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, they weren't easy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you expected me to know these at all. But maybe you do. Yes, well, that was that may be more of it. You can put in your guesses. And I don't know, you seem pretty confident with that guest on one. So maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. I, I think I might have been under. I, 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 I was trying to play the song in my head, mm -hmm. which I have heard a hundred times. Mm -hmm. And you were singing it. <laughs> he 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 ups his intake of eggs as he gets bigger. Yes. Which means he needs a lot of chickens. Where does he get these chickens? Yeah. Well, I think the rest of the village doesn't get as many eggs. Or chickens. Or chickens. Or right. Yeah. I think he should, you know, change up his protein intake a little bit. It could be different sources. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So maybe you know the answers to these questions. And you can comment on our social media. You can um, message us on our website. And um, that brings us to the end of our show today. We want to thank El Mule for our awesome custom theme music. You can find him on Instagram and Facebook. And we also have his album and other info linked on our website, which is disneya.wixsite.com slash podcast, which is also where you can message us with whether or not you think Brandon's guesses were correct. They, they, they work. <laughs> <laughs> you can also find us on the social media, another place you can message us about our trivia. Instagram is DisneyA.podcast, Facebook at DisneyA, and Twitter at DisneyA Podcast. We love to hear from you. You can also find DisneyA episodes on all of your favorite streaming platforms, anywhere you listen to your podcasts. And if you know someone who might like this podcast, be sure to recommend DisneyA to them. Join us next episode. I'm Krista. And I'm Brandon. And so until the next adventure, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Thanks for listening to Disney A. Hey.